Hello, this is uh, March 23rd, Monday. This is my third day of doing a little blog or vlog, video log, anyway, about the whole COVID-19. Again, this is done just for historical purposes for me, just so I can kind of see things over time. If anyone wants to watch this, great. If not, maybe you can just listen to my voice and it will just put you to sleep. Calm, soothing. Anyway. So today has been the first day of classes where we've moved online uh, at my primary job. Um, I taught my first class virtually. Um, it went pretty well. Uh, about half the students showed up, uh, but they're not required to because I recorded the, the lecture and then they can watch it later. Um, had some good questions. Um, biggest challenge we're facing right now is students reaching out saying, hey, now that I'm not up on campus, I am away. You know, for example, my classes uh, that I teach is at 10. So I've got a student who lives in Arizona. Uh, so she's like, that's 7 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, well, you don't have to log in. This is just a chance. Um, when we do it live, then students can ask questions in real time, which is very helpful. Um, but it, it, it went pretty well. There was a few technical hiccups, as always happens. Um, uh, as far as that went, a lot of questions from faculty about, because again, as a department head, I, everything seems to come to me and I need to kind of say, look, guys, I am not technical support. <laughs> the school has a technical support thing. I can help you the best I can on academic questions, but I need to kind of push that off. Um, so that's been a really busy morning, really, really busy morning. I'm just taking a little break here just to kind of clear my head and, and do stuff. Um, what's kind of going on in the world right now is um, some just some, some snapshots, some things. Uh, what they say there's like a, like 11,000 deaths now from COVID-19. Uh, I think I heard that New York has now got over 20,000 people infected. Um, North Carolina, we have... Um, just over 300 infected, I think. Uh, one of the bigger pieces of news that came out was um, over 100,000 people in North Carolina have uh, applied for our unemployment because they've been laid off during this time. Uh, one of those people includes my wife. Um, she's already filled out all, all the applications and stuff. Um, to my knowledge, although I have to double check, she's yet to receive any money. <laughs> so, I mean, they've approved her claim because she's obviously been laid off and you know the idea is that once things get back to normal her job will resume and stuff will be fine um but it's interesting to see how that plays out not surprisingly in the government and actually government is you know trying to do this stimulus plan and i think when they first started they were talking about oh 500 billion dollars worth of stimulus and then it went up to like 750 billion dollars um you know then it's like oh well, we're gonna actually it's gonna be a trillion dollars worth of of aid and now i'm hearing it's gonna be two trillion dollars worth of aid that, that are you know for companies and, and businesses and people um however as of right now this moment um Surprise, surprise, the Democrats and the Republicans can't seem to agree, and so it's kind of stalled. And um, that is something, to refer back to my book, National Bestseller, that I did call. Um, in my book, you know, when it, the idea is that the gas prices started going out of control because someone had written a book that, hey, look, we need to start really looking at alternative energy because we're going to run out of oil. And people took it and went crazy and started hoarding and then price gouging. And in the meantime, the government kind of just wouldn't, they, they just couldn't do anything. Again, this is in the book. You know, the Republicans really were trying to, um, you know, make it so fracking, which is um, the ability to, you know, pull oil out of uh, the ground in, in a different way, which has some environmental concerns. Um, make those, you know, the, the ideas that they wanted to make those... Um, permits easier to get so we could increase the oil um, whereas the democrats they were concerned about the uh, you know the uh, environmental applications like that and in the meantime the two of them were kind of fighting each other and nothing was being done everything was kind of just on stall because these two sides couldn't get together um, kind of what we're seeing right now you've got the republicans saying hey we want to do this and the democrats are saying no we want to do this you know if you listen to both sides the republicans are saying oh this is good for everybody the democrats are saying no 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 you're focusing way too much on on the businesses and not on the individuals and in the meantime things have stalled big surprise big surprise uh, not really a big surprise uh, so we'll see how that plays out uh, kind of unfortunate but um, 
so this is uh, day one of me being home from work. <laughs> you know, I've been home. Uh, you know, Friday, last Friday, was I was actually at work. I was by myself in my office building. I was the only one there because uh, everyone else was on spring break and I was a department head. And now I'm home. Uh, I've been doing schoolwork all morning long, um, dealing with student issues and grading and classes and all sorts of things. Still have a bunch of stuff to do this afternoon. Um, with those kind of things and to deal with all the challenges that pop up so it's going to be a busy time so while i'm home i'm still at work and i'm very busy um as far as any other updates it's not really have anything else i mean we still have food we still have you know, the powers on you know we have gas as far as you know for heating and stuff like that we're as a family we're taking it just very very easy um we did play a family game last night which was kind of fun just to do some things that were kind of uh spent some time together uh so that's kind of what's been going on for today we'll see what tomorrow brings all right and that's it for today